Hey yo, welcome to another fursuit video. In this video, I'm going to teach you a nice, safe, alternative way of squeaking in your fursuit. I have the squeaker not in my mouth like a lot of other fursuiters do, but instead in my hand. I do this by taking the squeaker out of a dog toy and inserting it into the hand paw. Oh my god, did I actually just... Oops. <laughs> Guys! Did you cut yourself? No, I stabbed the bed! <laughs> now, as you can see, I have my squeaker. And I'm going to insert it into the hand paw. I want it to be right about where the palm is. Just like here on this paw, I'm going to want it right here so I can squeeze around it. So it should be in there? Yep, it's in there. This is a technique I used to see a lot in the furry phantom. I don't really see it too much anymore. Um, I know that. Kironi, Flux Roo used to do it. Um, I know of a couple others. I'll avoid mentioning their names. My telephone. My telephone. My telephone. Ah! telephone does not use a squeaker. Telephone uses a form of reed in their mouth to make the sound effects that you hear them make. All the chirping and such, that is all from a reed, not a squeaker. A squeaker can only squeak. <coughs> now, in order for this to work well, you have to be able to hide the squeaker. As you can see, it's kind of hidden in the hand paw. But if you look side by side, you can see this hand paw has like the, a little bit of a bulge to it. It looks a little funny if you look side by side. Eh. Eh. So how some furniture suitors hide the squeaker is walk around with their hands like this. You can't see that I have the squeaker in my hand. And when you're ready to squeak, you squeeze the hand and open the mouth of your character or your fursuit at the same time. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this video. Keep hopping!